guys, Brian back with the Cardano update. Uh, I want to say something before we get into this video. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the month. Uh, 100 Cardano to a uh, to one lucky subscriber. Uh, that's just a way of me saying thank you for the support. And uh, every month we're going to do this. Uh, next month might be XRP. We'll see. We'll see what it is. But every single month we're going to do a giveaway. And all you got to do to enter is hit the subscribe button and you are entered. And uh, just my way of saying thank you. But uh, we're going to go over this chart in a second. We got some big news kind of popping today. Silvergate capital liquidates after crypto collapse. Um, down through here, we got just negative news today. Um, that's kind of all the hawkish Fed comments result in sideways price action for the crypto market. And down here, Biden... Biden plan would close crypto tax lost harvesting loophole to raise more money is what it is. Biden wants to double capital gains and clamp down on crypto wash sales. Biden budget proposes closing crypto loophole to raise $24 billion in new revenue. So he's not definitely not doing us any favor. Double the capital gains? That's holy cow, isn't it high enough already? Um, boy, oh boy. That just, uh, that's that just is definitely having a negative uh, effect on the markets today that's for sure um, but anyway let's get back to this Cardano chart uh, this is on a four hour I want to show you something here Cardano, Cardano has came up hit resistance here it's came down on this Fibonacci we're right at the 618 so that's the golden pocket hopefully we get a bounce from here uh, if we can get through the rest of this day without any more negative news hopefully we can hold this as support and get a bounce from here but the 618 is a golden pocket traders uh, in crypto use this Fibonacci to get ideas where a coin could retrace to and the 618 is a very very popular area for for a coin to pop but with Bitcoin today we have some down action I want to show you here that uh, Bitcoin has set a lower low. We had a higher high, a higher low, a higher high. We did have a higher low up here, but we have taken out this low and set a newer low. And all this negative news today is uh, is having a huge impact on uh, the crypto market. Pretty much everything is down. A few coins are up, but the, the Dow Jones, this is on the four hour. We've been talking about this support. If you've been watching the channel, we've been talking about this support holding here. <laughs> And uh, if not, we're probably coming back down to these lows for the Dow Jones. It's hit resistance on a four hour, and uh, the support is essential. We hold that on the daily. You can see that this thing, you know, this is the pattern it's forming. Um, we came out, topped out over there, and this has been resistance ever since. So we need to hold the line there and, uh, and get a bounce here. We did just a few days ago, but we're back testing that. And the S&P 500, which is tied to crypto also, this is the S&P on the daily chart. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this a little better. But we've been talking about this wedge also that's been holding this whole time as support. Came up the top of its resistance, bottom of support. It's fallen through that on a 15-minute. We zoom in tight. You know, you can see that uh, it's fell down through it here. We did fall down through it once. The fake out got back up in there. We're coming back down and testing it again. So we need to get back up in these support areas for the big markets. Uh, just a lot of negative news out there today. I'm sorry to, to tell you that, but it's just a bad day. You'll have these. Uh, tomorrow will be a better day. You know, keep your chin up and uh, please subscribe to the channel and get entered in that giveaway. Uh, and I would very much appreciate that. And I, like I said, it's just a way for me to say thank you. Everybody have a fantastic day. I'll check back with you tomorrow.